We've done some work with vectors and with vector addition. Um, now let's look at another vector operation, vector subtraction. So we might use this if we're trying to find, say, the change in velocity for an object. In general, if something changes, we do the final state minus the initial state. So you know, if you have uh, $30 and you um, end up at the end of the day with $80, we could say, okay, well, the change is your final $80 minus $30. That's a positive $50 that uh, you change by in that day. Well, we do the same thing with velocities, except now instead of um, a scalar quantity like the amount of money in dollars that you have, we have velocity vectors that we have to subtract. We might also consider this when thinking about relative velocity of two objects. Um, so more often than not, we'll use, uh, <clears throat> we'll use the ground as our frame of reference, and we'll think of our velocities uh, as being relative to the ground. That just means we treat the ground uh, as though it's at rest, as though the ground is still. Um, but sometimes it, it makes more sense to think of uh, velocity of one object relative to another one um, where both objects are moving. So we'll look at that case as well. But in general, we have to be able to add, or sorry, we have to be able to subtract vectors to do either of these cases. So let's look at an example where we want to do just a basic vector subtraction. We'll say vector A minus vector B. And uh, just alongside this, I'm going to do the operation A as a scalar minus b as a scalar. Um, so let's say that vector a is uh, 5 meters north and vector b is how about 3 meters west. And then we'll just use 5 meters minus three meters um, to illustrate our point over on the scalar side of this. Um, so one thing we can do on the scalar side is instead of treating this as subtraction, we can treat this as adding a negative three meters. Okay? So five minus three, that's the same as five plus a negative three. Well, we can do the same thing over here on the vector side, five meters north plus a negative three meters west. Okay, now, uh, you know, what is the uh, uh, what does the negative sign here mean for direction? Well, negative just means opposite. So, what's the opposite of three meters to the west? Well, that'd be three meters to the east. So, five meters north plus the opposite of three meters west three meters east. Okay, now that's just a vector addition problem and uh, we know how to solve those. So we've got five meters going to the north and three meters going to the east. And so we can solve for our hypotenuse. We'll call that D and the angle here. So uh, five squared plus three squared and then we'll square root that quantity Oops. Uh, 34 square rooted, there we go. Um, we get 5.83 uh, 5.83 meters at, and then I'll just do an inverse tangent of 3 over 5 to get uh, 31 degrees and then be, uh, it looks like east of north. So the end of this looks really just like all the other vector addition problems that we've worked in the past. It's just this one little step here going from here to here that's, uh, that's something new. But, you know, it's something you've done with scalars for quite some time. Instead of subtracting a positive number, we're just adding a negative number over here. Well, in instead of subtracting this vector, we're adding the opposite of this vector. So that's going to be the same length, but in the opposite direction. So let's look at an application of that. Let's do a relative velocity problem. 
So in relative velocity, we say the velocity of A relative to B. That's what this notation is. VAB means the velocity of A relative to B. It's going to be equal to the velocity of A relative to C, some other point that we, uh, uh, we can have in common for these, these two velocities, minus the velocity of B relative to C. Uh, again, minus the velocity of our second object relative to some third common object. So, we might have uh, a situation like this. If we have two, uh, two cars, two jeeps, that are driving around, we want to know the velocity of one of these jeeps relative to the other one. So we're looking for the velocity of the blue jeep relative to the red jeep. So we want the velocity of the blue relative to the red. So that's going to be equal to the velocity of the blue relative to the ground minus the velocity of the red relative to the ground. So these two quantities were given to us. We've got the blue relative to the ground. That's the 15 miles per hour at 45 degrees north of east. So the velocity of the blue relative to the red is equal to it's 15 miles per hour at 45 degrees north of west minus and the velocity of our red jeep was 25 miles per hour north. Okay, so next step, I'm going to change this around a little bit. So instead of 15 miles per hour at 45 degrees north of west, instead of that minus this quantity, I'm going to do plus and the opposite of this quantity. So the opposite of 25 miles per hour north would be 25 miles per hour south. Okay, so now I can sketch this out. I can solve this analytically or graphically. That's just a vector addition problem. So first one, we've got 15 miles per hour. This, 15 miles per hour at 45 degrees, um, and then plus 25 miles per hour south. So that's going to be something like this, 25 miles per hour. And so we're looking for this line right here, and that's going to be the velocity of, what do we say, the blue relative to the red. Okay, so at this point, it's just a vector addition problem, so we'll finish this out real fast. Um, we'll find the x and y components for each of our vectors. Okay, so let's see, that 45 degrees, that means this is a 45 degree angle also. So if we've got 15 times the uh, sine of 45 degrees, uh, to get the opposite side, that'd be 10.6 miles per hour, and since it's a 45 degree uh, angle there, that means this one is 10.6 miles per hour also. Uh, so in the x direction overall, let's get another new color, the x direction and the y direction overall we can figure out now. So in the x direction we see that we go over 10.6 miles per hour, and then we go up 10.6, but then back down 25. So that means overall we go down 14.4 miles per hour. Um, and then we'll find this angle and this VBR. So VBR squared is equal to 14.4 miles per hour squared plus the 10.6 miles per hour squared. So VBR is going to be 14.4 squared plus 10.6 squared and square root of that. That's 17.2 uh, 
9, uh, let's just go ahead and make it 18 miles per hour. And then our angle is going to be the inverse tangent of opposite, that's 10.6 miles per hour, over adjacent, that's 14.4 miles per hour. So theta then is going to be inverse tangent 10.6 over 14.4. And we get 36 degrees. So the velocity of B of the blue relative to the red Jeep is 18 miles per hour at 36 degrees. And we measured that from the south rotating toward the west. So that'd be west of south. Okay, so let's take just a minute and think about what this means, the velocity of B relative to, of blue relative to red. Okay, so blue, we know blue was driving 15 miles per hour at 45 degrees north of west. All right, so let's pick some starting point here, say both Jeeps start at the same position, and blue drives off this way at 15 miles per hour. Okay. And then red drives, uh, let's see, 25 miles per hour straight to the north. Okay, so red going a little bit faster and going straight to the north. Okay, so if we think of this uh, person in the red Jeep as being at rest, then that's what we mean when we say the velocity of B relative, of uh, blue relative to red is, uh, you know, what does it seem like this blue one is doing from the perspective of the red one? Well, we can see, you know, after, say, one second has gone by, uh, you know, this red one has traveled farther to the north than the blue one has. So as far as this one is concerned, the blue one is getting behind him in, uh, in this north-south direction. So it, it uh, appears from this perspective like blue is getting further to the south. So that's this southern direction for us. And we can see that blue is getting farther to the west as well. That's the western direction. So this relative velocity, we could actually just draw in like this. That's 18 miles per hour at 36 degrees west of south. That would work out um, exactly the same way here. Uh, so, you know, if we had a, a nice right triangle, we could solve it, uh, solve it that way as well. Um, but uh, you know, either way, we're, we're trying to get a perspective, treating this red one as being um, at rest. What does it look like the blue one is doing from that other perspective then?